Are you hungry? Because we have a neighborhood restaurant favorite that makes everyone feel like they're family. And we're headed to Old Town, the Old Town District in Plymouth, as Michelle Oliver takes us to dine in the D at Herman's Old Town Grill. With delicious homemade food and a giant moose on the outside of the building, Herman's Old Town Grill is a quirky spot that'll make you feel like part of the family. We're trying to bring people together. Herman's is literally who we are, right? So when you come in, you get to see Herman's and you get to talk to us. The Herman family bought this place back in 2003. So I started in the restaurant industry at 17. My first job was a hostess. And then as I was leaving college, my dad was looking to change jobs. He actually knew the old owner of this place. The old owner wanted to sell it and he uh, jumped on the opportunity. We just put our heart and soul into it. They kept some of the design of the old restaurant, specifically all of the mooses. It's actually a very old moose. Uh, it was automated by a, a regular here. It's definitely our one of our calling cards. People know us as the moose bar, I think, before Herman's. And they added some touches of their own. Nikki's into Ninja Turtles, so we have a, some Ninja Turtle stuff. The Peach Barbie doll. My dad really is into bike, like fixing up old antique bikes, so we have some of that in there. There's definitely little touches. In terms of food, they serve American bar food favorites. We serve food that we like, family food. Really good sandwiches, really good salads, really good burgers. We don't buy, you know, what's cheapest. We buy what we would eat and what we like best. A great example of this is their homemade meatloaf melt. We're going to start off by making the meatloaf. So you do this all by hand. There's no giant mixer back here. Yeah, not at all. We add in some mustard, horseradish, steak sauce, ketchup, garlic, beef base, and barbecue sauce. How much meatloaf do you make a day? Well, we're making 10 pounds. This is a very serious meatloaf, okay? Very serious meatloaf, I like that. We got some serious cooking right now here. We mix it all together and then add in some sour cream. Then it's time to work with the meat. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of break the meat, so. Break the meat up. Can, yeah, so that it doesn't uh, be compact there, so you get the flavors all over inside, very well mixed. This is better technique that I found myself to combine all the ingredients before you put them in the meat. So, Interesting. Oh, know, that makes it so you don't have little pockets of like, here's extra mustard, here's exactly. extra this. So we're gonna do it like this, kind of ah. smash it. So <laughs> you see how it comes between your fingers? Oh yeah. So you squeeze it, it's like a little workout. Next, we add in some green peppers, sauteed onions, and eggs. So you're kind of scrambling them up top yeah, you're before kinda, you're putting kinda, them in. Yeah, okay. you kind of spread them around and then we're gonna start combining like right. we did earlier. Go ahead. Just again? Let's do the same thing, you know. This is like my favorite part. Mm, there you go. <laughs> we finally finish it off with some panko breadcrumbs. Then we divide the meat into three even loaves and put them in the oven to cook. Now we make it into a sandwich with some toasted rye bread, melted cheddar cheese, crispy bacon, sauteed onions, and barbecue sauce. Mm. Wow. Joining us is Marissa Trussler, co-owner of Herman's Old Town Grill in Plymouth. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And thank you for this beautiful spread. Would you have your eye on Jason? Everything. <laughs> I mean, I got this uh, French dip here with the au jus, right? That yeah, looks... we make that with our prime rib. It's Look very, at that. I know the sandwich is hiding behind those. Look at that. There, there you go, right there. And then the pizza's right in front Beautiful. of it. That's Na our margarita. Mm -hmm. Nachos right here. Yes, beef nachos. We also have chicken, and you can make them vegetarian. We add a little spicy queso on top, so it really gives it that extra um, deliciousness. And I mean, I love that you've got like the red chips, the black chips, the yellow chips. It just, you know, Pop. you eat with your eyes before you eat with your stomach, right? So it looks Pops so good. Pops off the plate. Yeah. <laughs> Pop in. What's up front there? Is that a muffaletta? What do what, what you call it? Similar, it's our Italian sub. So it has, um, you know, the ham, the salami, uh, banana peppers, it has a regal seasonal dressing, um, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, salami. Nice. All right. And then we have a salad. What kind of salad do you call this? This is our Liberty Street salad. It has blue cheese, bacon, um, our homemade uh, tangy dressing. We make a lot of our dressings here, a lot of our soups, a lot of our sauces. I love it. From scratch. From scratch. Homemade. Yes. Right. So what is it like to work with family? Because this is a family-run business. <laughs> 
Um, it's wonderful and it's difficult and we've gone through our hard times, but it's all been worth it and okay. it's something that I'm quite proud of. That's awesome. It, I love the, the honesty of that answer. Listen. It's wonderful, it's difficult, mm -hmm. but we survive. We have it. All familiar. of the difficulty brings out beautiful food and why people love to come and see you guys. Yeah. yeah. That a big old beer over there by the, the end of the table, you see? Yes, that's yeah. about our Oktoberfest. Okay. Um, is that an upcoming event? We do, we have it. It's um, September 29th, it's a Saturday. It's one of our favorite uh, events that we have. We have German food, German attire, um, and we beer specials because we want to get rid of our beer and get ready for winter time. Uh, that's just kind of a novelty. If you know us really well um, and you want to have the boot full of beer, we can do it for you. The key is, is that you're supposed to pass it around and not put it down. Oh, sorry, mm. Jason. You can't just have that on the plate while you're eating your no, bacon it's cheeseburger. A social. <laughs> or, or the wings, <laughs> right. or, or the steak bites, or, or the calamari that you so helpfully I know, pointed this out. Is so good. Let me show you guys this calamari. That is winning right there. What, yeah. what other events are upcoming besides Oktoberfest? Anything else you want to tell the folks? Well, we do um, tap takeovers a lot. Uh, next week, we have a local uh, drafting tape. Uh, drafting table tap takeover where we have about five or six uh, beers on draft mm -hmm. and then in January please look out for our fundraiser it's a bourbon beer social and we raise um, money for the autism steps program awesome. so that's one of our favorite things too and where are you located Plymouth um, Old Village Plymouth so it's kind of just about a five minute walk from downtown uh, it's an area that's growing and it's a, it's a cute little cute little area down there. And I hear just look for the moose. Just look for the moose. Just look for the moose. <laughs> also, if you want to try out Herman's Old Town Grill, we are giving away five $30 gift cards for your chance to win. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. And we've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places we cover, get suggestions on our places to eat out, share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you be a part of that on our Facebook. That's right. Thank you, Marissa, for being Thank here. You. Thank Pleasure. you for having me.